Hello and welcome to my Skills vs Capacities Vlog 2. We're going to be looking at acceleration and a side shuffle into a 90 degree. During my athlete's side shuffle, his centre of mass isn't lowered enough and as he moves laterally, his feet come together. This is going to reduce his stability during his lateral movement. As he comes into the cone to change direction, he takes a nice wide step, which is good, but he overcompensates by pronating his foot. His knee is slightly in valgus. So after seeing my athlete do the drill, I thought I'd run some tests on him to see whether he had the capacity to do the drill effect. So here you can see him doing some thoracic rotations. Um, in my opinion, I thought he had good thoracic rotation. It didn't inhibit his movement. So next, I had him doing some single leg pistol squats. Um, as you can see, he's very unstable. This is going to inhibit his 90 degree cut due to the instability in his knee. Here on his other leg, exactly the same, very unstable. So this is going to massive, massively affect his ability to cut to 90 degrees. So after seeing that he had some instability in his single leg pistol squat, um, I gave him some banded glute bridges. This is going to strengthen the glute med needed for stability of the knee. Next, I gave him some lateral step ups. This is going to strengthen up his adductors and strengthen up his glute meds. Also, it's going to strengthen his movement in the frontal plane which is needed for the side shuffle into 90 degree cut. So even though my athlete did have some skill issues involved in his drill, he had an underlying capacity issue which needs, needs to be addressed before he continues to learn the skill. He needs to strengthen up his adductors and strengthen up his glutes in order for him to be stronger in the frontal plane. So here we move on to a different athlete doing the same drill. His centre of mass is slightly lower but he does put his feet together during the side shuffle. When he's doing this drill as well we're looking for the athlete to scan the environment. However he's looking at the direction of travel meaning he's not very confident in where he's moving. As he tries to change direction, he doesn't put his foot outside of his centre of mass. This is going to really inhibit his turn and make it a lot harder for him to swivel around effectively. Here when you see it from a different angle, you see he doesn't truly cut to 90 degrees. This is probably down to not having that planting step wide enough and outside of his centre of mass in order for him to swing his leg round. So on to a single leg stability test. He is pretty stable on both legs. Um, he has an extensive weightlifting background um, and I wasn't surprised that he was pretty stable. So after seeing that he was pretty stable, we needed to work on that side shuffle and really encourage him not to bring his feet together and lower his centre of mass. Again, we're just working on that wide step for him to be able to effectively swing round. Next, we worked on the step and the turn. Wide step and swinging that leg round for him to be able to effectively turn. Here we see it from a different angle and it's a lot better and a lot more closer to 90 degrees. So for me, um, this was clearly a skill issue. Um, he needed to improve his side shuffle a lot more um, 
and he needed to really focus on whipping that leg round and driving his knee towards the target, as well as stepping a little bit more outside of his centre of mass. So moving on to my next athlete in his acceleration phase, his first step is actually really nice, but his second he doesn't quite reach full extension and he doesn't drive his knee all the way through. This is consequential for his next few strides where he doesn't reach full extension. So I tested his dorsiflexion and his dorsiflexion is pretty good and get his knee well past his toes. However, I could see some range of motion deficiencies in his knee flexion. This is really going to affect his ability to triple extend and to drive that other knee through. So following on from that, I've got him doing some hip stretches. And as you can see, he's pretty tight. And then, of course, I've got him doing some weight bearing exercises, moving in the sagittal plane here at walking lunge. So for me, I think the driving factor here is um, hip mobility and his ability to drive his leg all the way through and triple extend on that one side. So for me, if he can do some more hip, hip, hip stretches and some more single leg exercises in the sagittal plane, this should fix up his movement pattern and he should be able to perform the task a little bit better. So moving on to my next athlete on his acceleration. As you can see, his arms aren't driving nowhere near enough and he doesn't reach full triple extension and his, arm, his, his other leg doesn't drive through enough. He's slightly in a forward lean position, but I would like it to be more. And you can see there's a lot of hill recovery going on. When we're accelerating, we want to be punching the floor. So I tested his hip flexion and his hip flexion seemed to be pretty good. As well as his dorsiflexion seemed to be pretty good. So I got him doing some wall acceleration drills. This is going to enforce a forward lean and a proper flexion and an extension in, in both legs. As you can see, he still needs to he needs practice to perform the task. Next, we moved on to some A skips. This is going to encourage a nice knee drive and punch in the floor rather than trying to recover the heel during acceleration. Quite clearly, you can see the athlete's very new to these kind of drills and take, it's going to take a little bit of time for him to get used to it. Another drill we've done was some falling starts. This is going to encourage a forward lean and proper extension and knee drive into these sprints. So after constant reminders and constant coaching cues, we started to get there in his acceleration phase. Another drill we used was a three point start. Again, this is just gonna encourage a forward lean. So for me, this is a skill issue um, for my athlete. Um, he clearly hasn't really sprinted before um, and clearly has a lot of coaching cues that need to be taught. Constant reminders of the basics of acceleration, such as arm drive, forward lean, and really driving that knee through will hopefully improve his ability to accelerate. 